got here with Dr. Dave. What have we got here? Oh, this is an eastern blue tongue. A really awesome native animal. But this isn't a wild one. This is a pet. It belongs to Alicia over here. There you go. What are they like as pets? Are they, are they like cats and dogs? Do they get the paper? Well, they're really good to have because they're really friendly and they like to run around. So what sort of things do you feed them? Um, well, we feed them snails and soft fruit and they can also eat rose petals. So while it might seem a bit strange to keep lizards as pets, there's a growing interest in this throughout Australia. Quolls, dunnarts, hopping mice, sugar gliders, all sorts of our native animals can make really good pets and it's something that a lot of people are interested in doing. But what have we got here? Oh, look at this. What have you got here, Douglas? I've got a carpet python. Oh, great. So here we have a Murray Darling carpet python that is one of the most spectacular of the snakes that you find in this area and they make, surprisingly, really good pets. This guy is Murray and he's our pet, isn't he, Douglas? Yep. So, so what's he like as a pet? Isn't he, isn't he scary? He's a bit when he's hissing, you know, in your ear or sliding down your back. Because it is a bit freaky when you can't see his head. But he, does he bite you? No, he hasn't bit me. Because it's just we don't annoy him. If you annoy him, he'll bite you. Fair him. enough. So he doesn't bite. And, um, you know, what does he eat? Well, he eats sparrows, blackbirds, pigeons. And in the wild, he'd eat other, other lizards and other mammals. Right. Excellent. But there's a few things that you need to bear in mind about keeping not just snakes, but all native animals as pets. Firstly, you need a permit. You can't just have one. Um, it's easy to get. It's, it's, it's not a problem. You pay your money once and, and, uh, and you're fine. You can have one permit and you can keep bearded dragons. You can keep all sorts of things without any, any trouble at all. The other thing to bear in mind is you can't take them from the wild. This is a captive born snake. This, this isn't from the wild. This actually came originally from parents all the way back from the Flinders Ranges. Uh, but he was born in captivity in Sydney uh, and he's much more relaxed, much more friendly than your average carpet snake from the wild. And also he's got no diseases, no parasites. So when you see a wild one, that's great. Leave it in the wild. If you want a pet one, you can go to a specialist pet shop. Uh, and as long as you've got permits, you're home free. Here with Dr. Dave.